Greetings everyone, and welcome back to the Pale Beyond. Now, where we left off last time is uh, where I was supposed to be filling out this, uh, well, Captain Lock thing. Uh, after the recording I basically quickly filled it out because I wanted to check out how the camp looks before I went off to do other stuff. And unfortunately, after reloading the save, it kept those, it kept those uh, decisions, so we'll just have to read through them instead of uh, selecting them. But there are still the choices I would have taken anyway, so... Also, it's just uh, describing the expedition, so I don't think it uh, changes that much. But anyway, let's uh, see what we wrote. The crew have settled down for the long winter. It will be many months before the canopy is removed, and further, travel across the ice will be a possibility. The crew will be here for quite some time. The winter is long and cold and carries out in complete darkness. One can lose track of the days. We have braved the dangers of a shipwreck and the ice, of creatures set to kill and maim. The cold and dark are but another challenge that the crew are sure to overcome. Before the winter set in, the navigator and the engineer came to blows in public amongst the crew. Quite literal were the blows, as the man as the men had to be separated by the crew. A professional disagreement turning uncivil is not unheard of, particularly in high pressure situations. Both men still carry the crew's best interest at heart, and tensions seem to have calmed since the incident. The cold part of the world has now entered its coldest stage. In the winter, even the words and time can freeze over. The doctor is likely to have his hands full in the coming, in the coming months, dealing with frostbite amongst the crew. I only hope the young man is prepared for such a task. So anyway, uh, now that we've read that, let me show you our new setup. It looks uh, quite nice and in case you're wondering, we just uh, built a huge temp uh, tent around our camp, as it appears, and our penguins are still here, so that's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's how we deal with winter. So yeah, anyway, let's proceed as normal now. So I guess let's check up on Amont and Cordo. Where's the beasties? Learning their rest, something they make a habit of, uh, something they may make a habit of in the coming weeks. Ah, we are finally afforded a break from them. I'm only seeking a modicum of heat. Best get used to that too. Long winter ahead. Indeed. Okay. We have the scouts. We'll be holed up here for a while. At least it means some rest, finally. You say that now, but you'll miss the chance to stretch your legs before long. Most likely, but for now, I've embraced the quiet. Do you hear those winds? Nothing quiet about the winter, my friend. Also nothing quiet about being stuck with you. Ah, true. Okay, uh, how about uh, Mr. Gloss and Kasha? Under the canopy, it's almost cozy. If you ignore that it's colder than ever, yes. What I wouldn't give to have a nice flask of hot cocoa at a time like this. Ah, why did you have to mention it? Now it's all I want. Oh well, best save for home, eh? Alright, so they're having a nice time. How about Runt and Nutley? Look at this! It's like we're under one big tent. Yes, I suppose so. So, no more hunting then? Yeah, at these temperatures I don't think I'm gonna be sending anyone to hunt. For the foreseeable future, yes. Alright, here's hoping we have enough food to last us. Okay, well, I mean... We have some food, hopefully it's enough. Yes, let's. My morale is quite low though, so I'll have to start uh, giving them more generous rations. Uh, let's uh, check up on gnomes and gripes. Or and grips, I should say. We'll be holed up in here for quite a while. Aye, at least there's less work on our plates. We should be careful with uh, lamplight. It wouldn't be hard to set the canopy alight. So that would be quite the incident, wouldn't it? Uh, then we certainly wouldn't want to be trapped underneath. Gloomy one, aren't you? Sorry, just cautious. Okay, and I believe... Okay, nothing here, so let's uh, check upon those requests. So we have only Hammond and Junior. Well, Captain, 
Sun won't be getting up for a while. Welcome to our new home. Aye, this canopy ain't pretty, but you'll do us right. Better than us being stuck in that blizzard. That I believe we can all agree on. It's a strong one, aye. Worse than any I've seen. You have to keep an eye out for the rips in the outer canopy. Uh, or for rips in the outer canopy. Don't want the heat seeping out. Or the cold ripping in. You see a single hole, you grab whoever you can to fix it. Best we heed their warnings, Captain. Yeah, that would be terrible. This Tarpaulin is old and has clearly and has clearly seen better days. Not sure what that word means, but uh, that's fine. Oh, he wants to talk with me. Captain, I hope you are becoming accustomed to our new setup. It will be some time before we can leave this canopy. 21 weeks. I assume you've been keeping track of time. It's been 21 since we, for, uh, since we first set sail. 18 more weeks until rescue, correct? Shorter. Yeah, I like the first one for, uh, I like the first one most. 18 more weeks until rescue, correct? Yes. The winter will be long, but I feel it won't feel as such. Even thoughts can freeze out here. I think the weeks will pass before you know it. Still, you have been in command for quite some time now. It has made for interesting observation, at the least. You've been making your judgments, I take it. All good observations, I hope. I prefer not to be observed. Let's go with this one. All, go all good observations, I hope. Well, Templeton flicks through the pages of his notebook. I still believe it was unwise to claim Hunt had abandoned the crew. No matter how truthful it seems to be. To disparage the man's character did no favors for you amongst the sailors. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. What would you rather have me do? Say he was dead? You're right, I shouldn't have spoken with certainty. I don't remember, did I... Was I certain that he abandoned us? Maybe I was. But I'm not really certain. Didn't say anything that wasn't true. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, if I did speak with uh, certainty, I think that's quite right on his part to point out. You're right, I shouldn't have spoken with certainty. Oh, we got some loyalty out of that. I believe speaking with certainty wasn't the issue. We need a uh, def definite... We need a defi definite statement on his condition. I don't know why that took me so long. But attacking the man's reputation only emboldened his loyal crew. Templeton flicks through the pages of his notebook. I am disappointed by your refusal to take action against Toke and his music. Oh, that again? Leaving room for such an open disrespect to your authority. You now look weak and ineffectual. Grimley is free to play his music. Better weak than a tyrant. You are right, I should have put a stop to it. I don't like this one. I don't think he will like this one. So let's just go with it. It's probably gonna be a neutral option, I assume. Grimley is free to play his music. Oh, it wasn't neutral. His music, yes. But songs of mutiny? They shouldn't have been supported. Templeton flicks through the pages of his notebook. I must commend you for your action during the incident with the leopard seal. Oh yeah, that was uh, quite fun, wasn't it? Your cool head and preparedness meant we were able to avoid disaster. Kudos. Templeton flicks through the pages of his notebook. It will be long time before winter clears, but when it does, we will be closing in on our rescue point. Which is also the last known location of the Viscount, if you may recall. i have almost forgotten of the Viscount, that mission is long in the past now. Do you think we can still find it? I wonder if Hunt is still headed in that direction. Uh, let's go with this one. Do you think we can still find it? At this stage, it is impossible to know anything for certain. Hmm, I wonder. Do you still hope to find the Viscount? No matter. We've spoken enough. Best we get back to work. That was uh, somewhat curious, but... I guess we'll see where that leads. How about our tent? Anything happening? We have Mr. Zack and Templeton. I should say, at least while we are uh, waiting out the winter, I have plenty of time to practice chess. If you're interested in the game, Templeton, I wish you good fortune, but I doubt you will develop much. It's too cold to think. Uh, maybe, I don't know. 
How about Kasha and Kurt? Is that the same compass you carried uh, in your third film? Indeed it is. I'm surprised you're able to pick up on those details. Well, I have seen them quite a few times. My family purchased a print of through the white wastes for private screenings. So I'm quite accustomed to it all. Through the white wastes. Ah, you must have been this tall when that film came out. Maybe shorter. That canvas pack of yours, that must be 30 years old by now. I, I know to keep my equipment well maintained. You're the same, aren't you? Of course. I never let my trusty camera even get scratched. You know, we're barely ha uh, we barely had a budget for that first film. Most all the idea was set for disaster. I had to get the sponsorship of tin beans. I'm seeing a pattern here. To get you uh, to even get that expedition off the ground. I remember those adverts. Newspapers ran them for quite a while. In fact, I had some newspaper clippings for research. Building a portfolio. I think one of those adverts is in this uh, folder. Why would you need so much research? Seems a bit much for one expedition. Well, this is for something else. And that is... Well, it's something shameful to admit, but... A keep record of some historical figures that I have hopes on one day. Well, writing a biography on. A biography? Yes, I know it's going to be... I know it's getting ahead of myself, but... I like to be prepared for projects that... Are in the realm of possibility, maybe. Ah, I would like to see that. A historical figure, eh? I would say you fit the criteria. Flattering. But it does make me sound old. Okay, so they're having a nice time. Anything in the medical tent? Doesn't seem like it. How are the dogs doing? All good. And I suppose we can call everyone for dinner. Anything on the outside? Just uh, a bunch of snow. So I guess we have to gather those penguins later. Let's... Uh, did I do the requests? I think I, yeah, I did the requests. So let's have dinner then. The crew have their meal. The crew return to their posts. The long dark continues. You can choose who to spend your evening with. Really? Oh, what's that? Repair a hole in the canopy. But that doesn't sound good. Uh, let's get these guys. Let's see. Those two I want. I, I suppose the scouts, maybe? You know what I'm thinking uh, about the curing people? Because I have a lot of uh, people that are in need of curing. I can probably not cure the malnourished person with the doctor and have them work today and uh, give more rations at the end of the week so they get cured that way. And that uh, means I can focus more on curing the freezing people. Because I assume since it's the getting this cold, we we'll have problems with frostbite and such. So I will actually send you to work on that hole. And we will cure you through more rations. So, okay, seems like they fixed the hole, so that's good. How about Templeton and Cordell? Arf! 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 Miss uh, Cordell, will you be able to calm that thing down? I'm attempting to make note of the day's work. The move has left Stanbury overstimulated. And with nowhere to take them, board... Uh, and, and with nowhere to take them, board. How long before the creature tires itself out? A pack down can remain active for several hours without taking a rest. And then it will calm down? Perhaps. Then another is likely to act out again. The Templeton is not pleased. How is anyone to have any work done in their presence? You will grow, you will grow used to it. Learn to focus your mind. I am focused on my duties at all times. Thank you very much. And you should have no issue. Uh, then you should have no issue. Arf. Okay. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of conflict brewing there, but doesn't seem like much. How about uh, Doctor and Grimley? Thinking of going out for a stroll? Hmm? Wh what? You were staring at the exit for a while there. 
Oh, uh, right. You're all right. Uh, yes. Um, it's going to be a long winter, isn't it? Should be. And uh, the food we have now will have to last us, right? What are you getting at? I... Well... Nothing. Is he worried about our food for some reason? Not least curious of returning to his stand. Hmm. Right, now we can talk to Grimley. You see that show? Something's up with the doctor. I don't like it. Yeah, that did seem a bit suspicious. Two Jones and Mr. Zack. How do you say this one? Acceleration. You said uh, this was a simple book. You certainly picked an interesting time to start reading. I bet it's too dark to see anything most of the time. What brought on the need to learn? Not gonna be strong forever. The whaling work will dry up. Still got time to learn something else. Okay. That's a, a smart guy. How about Kurt? Ah, Captain. We're set, in, uh, we're set in for quite a few weeks. We have to find something good to pass the time. Our sports are out of the question, considering the circumstances. Ah, perhaps we can share stories of expeditions past. I have quite a few up my sleeve. That would be nice. Prefer to sit through the storm in peace and quiet. Uh, let's go with this one. That would be nice, Kurt. I'd love to hear some of your tales. There we go, some loyalty, even though it's maxed already. That would be just spiffing. Though we may be here for quite some time. Better I get through them at a reasonable pace. I wouldn't want to waste every story I have in a single evening, would I? Oh well. I'll let you get back to your work for now. Okay. And we have 11 people, four of which need to be assigned to the medical tent. So let's make sure to do that. If Kasha and Nutley. Ah, doctor, you're back. You wandered off so soon after dinner. Is something on your mind? Oh, no, I was just planning to get an early night. Oh, well, good night. Uh, yes. Yes, something is definitely not right there. Is there anything I can do for the crew? Uh, sure you can. You can cure some people of uh, frostbite. So I guess let's go with the sailors. There we go. Get those guys uh, cured of their freezing. And I suppose I can ask the scientists to cook up medical comforts. Since we definitely won't be sending any scouts in this winter. I'm not sure if we even can, but even if we could, that seems like a terrible risk to take. So yeah, let's assign those scientists. Make me some medical comforts. That should be good. I think. There we go. That should be nice. If you can give me this, I can get the crew back on their feet. Is there anything I can do for the crew? That's good. And let's see. I need to add some fuel to our stockpile. Oh, also, yeah, I suppose I can cure people with the engineers, can't I? Might as well. Let's get that uh, that fixed. There we go. We cured two people out there freezing. And we have two left over. I suppose one should go to Cordell to raise our decorum. Oh, the penguins. I forgot about them. Well, I think I prefer the decorum to one penguin. So I guess I'll only send one person to get penguins. Yeah, I definitely could have sent the scientists. Instead of making the medical comforts. Uh, that's a shame, really. Okay, let's uh, make sure our fuel is stopped up, though. Uh, I suppose we can use those penguins for fuel. Something like that. Might as well use them all. Our food is uh, looking good at the moment. That brings us above 75. So, in case we need to use that, uh, we can. Let's also eat the hosh pot. I think uh, I'll just put all the small penguins since they are barely useful as fuel. This doesn't seem like it does much. So. Let's feed the hosh pot. And that's uh, looking quite nice. And okay, so let's send someone to Kasha. 
Who do you wanna send? Who is free actually? Let's see. So we have one of the scouts that is free. And we have one crew that is free. I suppose let's send the scout maybe. For an interview. I'm not sure if... I think this guy actually hasn't been interviewed yet. I don't know if this matters. Uh, you know what, let's let's send this guy. I think the scout should be fine with the penguins. He's just dragging a penguin inside the tent. Okay, so that gives us some decorum. Quite happy with that. And let's go get some penguins. So I get one free one, right? Okay, I still do. That's good. And... Let's see... Where are you? There we go. Here we'll get uh, one more penguin. That should be good. Oh, they develop freezing. Okay, that's actually... You know what? Uh, I'm starting to be happy that I did not send three people there. That could have ended in disaster. Okay. So, that uh, is one penguin worth one person being frozen. Maybe in some situations it's worth it. Also, I want to check. Okay, so we can actually scout around. Interesting. Obviously not gonna do it at this temperature. So... Yeah, okay. Anything else inside that we need to... Manage? The hosh pot is filled. Furnace is good. The interviews are done. Anything with the dogs? Stroke its head. You pat its back. You bark back at it. Okay. So I guess they're doing doing fine. How long has this uh, video been going on for? It's gonna be a bit of a short one, but I definitely don't have enough time for a second week. So we'll have to leave it at that. So let's see. So I'm gonna do normal rations, and that should cure... Yeah, that cures... Uh, I believe it was Yorick from malnourishment. And damn, even normal fuel will freeze two people. That's a lot. I mean, to be honest, I have one frozen person. Or like, uh, freezing. I can definitely afford to... Drop a bit of fuel. That being said... I don't really think I can afford losing that decorum, can I? Actually, one second. Interesting. So if you give high rations, you gain 30 decorum, but if you give half rations, you lose 10. So I think it's definitely worth it uh, to go with low fuel. Is the fuel the same? It is. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe I go with uh, high fuel so we can get some decorum back. Then again, don't really have that much uh, more fuel left for me. So maybe what what I can do, let's see. I can go with uh, normal fuel for now and normal rations. And that's pretty much going to delay things. So actually, never mind. You know what? I don't think I even need to cure this. Because the doctor can cure him of scurvy, right? I know for sure that uh, we'll have two patients tomorrow. So what if I go with half rations, spend some of my decorum, and then next time I go with high rations, so I can get a bunch of decorum back. Or alternatively I could go with high rations now, so I can save later. Which actually might be the smarter play, since I do have someone that needs to be cured of uh, malnourishment now. Mm. Very interesting. Like, can you even have two people be malnourished at the same time? I guess if you use that spoiled Russians, uh, they were giving people the malnourished effect. Because I'm thinking like if I go with uh, half rations, I keep getting one person malnourished every week. 
Uh, but uh, by the time I get to go with high Russian so I can cure two people, one of them is no longer malnourished but has scurvy, so I cannot cure more than one. I'm just trying to think, like, which is easier to get, food or fuel? What should I use to increase my decorum? I definitely don't like uh, staying on normal uh, Russians and normal fuel because that seems like a waste of decorum. This does put me dangerously low though. You know what, I think I'll go with high Russians this week. And uh, we'll go with low fuel. Now this means that three people will develop freezing. We will have one person that will be frostbitten. So that's uh, four people we can send to the doctor. And uh, this malnourished person will get cured. And we also end up uh, gaining a net positive of 20 decorum. I kind of like the sound of this, even though it will spend a lot of my food. I do have to increase my decorum as well. I can't just keep decreasing it. So we'll go with that. Cheer up everyone with high rations for the winter. And uh, see how that goes for us. Okay. So, the long winter continues. We have one person cured. Make that two. Three. Four. Yorick the third is no longer malnourished. There we go. Winsley is now frostbitten. We have one person freezing. Two people. It should be one more for the fuel. Do we have anyone extra? No, we don't. Okay, so that worked out quite well, I would say. We are a bit low on food now, though. I think I have... Uh, what was it? Eight buckets of fish? So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely have to figure something out with those penguins. If they give you freezing for taking them. Uh, but that's gonna have to be decided next week. Wait, week 24? Weren't we at week 21 last time? Hmm. I'll have to check back on the footage, but I feel like we were at week 21. Yeah, Templeton said that 21 weeks have passed. Okay, I guess there, there will be some sort of explanation when it comes to but uh, anyway, for now, Hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see the next one whenever it's done. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.